Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another Quick Crafts. So today we are going to play with some of our brand new stamps. We've got our lovely Swan Fairy, we've got some beautiful new foliage and we have used our mystical sprays over the top. You can see that lovely mica coming through. So a nice little tag, really quick and easy to do. Okay, so we'll have a quick look at the new stamps and then we shall look at how we're going to make this card. I am here to talk about our brand new lovely collection of stamps. Okay, so I have been busy designing these. Um, we felt that there was something missing in our collection so this is all about bridges so we've got quite a few different bridges in here and if you see on the gallery uh, what the design team have been up to you can understand why this was quite an important range to bring out because it just works so beautifully with the old stamps so it's a way of bringing old and new together so let's get started so we have some lovely little swans and you can see from my hand how small these are which work really lovely under the bridges i know that a few customers have been asking for swans so here they are we've got our mini sacred bridge and then we've got our large sacred bridge so you can see that lovely detail in there and the, the rail over the top. So we can have all sorts, we can have fairies on top of here. We can have carriages going over. You can have anything you want. As I say, check the gallery out for more inspiration. We've got Dana, this lovely little fairy that works so nicely on top of the swans. Again, you can see how small she is in comparison to my hand. She works really lovely on top of the bridges as well. We've got Dragon's Thorn. We've got that in small and large so that we can create a depth with it. So that's one of my uh, favorites. That's one of my go-tos. We have some lovely words here. So we've got bridge your dreams and make it reality and follow your dreams. And you can see the curve in that, which works really nicely over the top of the bridges either over the top or underneath and um, we've got uh, botanical blossoms this is quite a large stamp but it's great for background we've got the lovely little ones to go with that as well so you can build that up in fact i did one the other day uh, i embossed it and then um, used the stencil brush and inks over the top and it was really beautiful so again that's another one of my favorites i think i'll be using that quite a lot we have our forest arch which again is another bridge another arch with those words over the top or underneath it looks really quite beautiful uh, this one we've got blossoms buds so this can be used as a separate stamp as a flower or we can create a lovely little magical butterfly with this this being the head so i've got a little card here just to show you so i've embossed the two wings here and then i've stamped again but you can make this as big or as small as you want um, i had real uh, lots of fun creating that actually again embossing um, it works so beautiful with all this detail Okay, so we have Forest Arch here. Now, this stamp works really, really nicely with our Tree of Life. I've designed it so it just fits perfectly, sits within that arch. And we can do that at the top and we can do that at the bottom. And we can use our words as well if we wish underneath or over the top. So again, uh, have a look at the gallery. Look at the inspiration on what we did with that. And lastly, I can't remember the name of this, Thimbleweed. This works really, really lovely under the bridges. So stamping over and over again, different colours, build that depth up. Um, 
very small little stamps um but yeah i think quite an important one okay guys so that's all we have all those lovely stamps i hope you enjoy this collection as much as i have designing it such a quick easy card to make hope you enjoyed thanks for watching guys bye for now